Hello everyone and welcome back. Koku here with the Devil's Avocado from Evil Guacamole Gaming. And we're continuing the super cute, adorable visual novel, which uh, I'm, I wouldn't go too much into in the beginning, but it is a demo and I will be placing all the links at the bottom if you want to check the demo out for yourself, if you want to give any sort of donations, I'm, it would be great to, you know, help along people who are developing things on their own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also, uh, uh, man, I was about to give a joke and I've, I've half left, lost my nerve for it, but, uh, so Coco, <laughs> um, as a non-white person, you'd let me touch your hair, right? <laughs> I just- How much are you gonna pay? <laughs> uh, I'm willing to let you touch my very floofy hair for a modest <laughs> price. <laughs> that That's an excellent way to go about it. <laughs> um, I approve. <laughs> Uh, like, all right, that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> just quickly gonna say, in all my avatars and stuff, my hair looks super straight. It takes me a long time to get it that way, and half the time I don't bother. Because <laughs> when I say floof, I mean fluff. I mean it's very fluffy. <laughs> do you, do you like it straight? Or I mean, I know this is a big bit of discourse that I've observed. Yeah, I personally do prefer how m like I've been feeling a bit more confident with it as of late. But the thing is that if I don't maintain my hair, if I'm not really careful with it, it gets tangled very easily and then I start losing a lot of it. So mm. it actually helps me to straighten it out to be able to maintain it cuz um I think I'm still having problems from a long time ago when I was younger and a lot of my hair got burned not in an accident oh. or anything but uh i was a stupid kid who did not realize that uh using a ceramic hair straightener shortly after showering would burn your hair <laughs> and <laughs> yeah that happened so i need to be very careful with my hair on what i do with it so i if i don't straighten it i tend to lose a lot of it hmm. but it's been like it's gotten to the point where I've almost grown out and cut out all my hair that got burned so I'm able to wear it more as I want and I have been getting more confident in just leaving it be fluffy and curly if I use um, a gel. Hmm. And now that we're done with ranting about my hair. <laughs> Well, in in fairness, I I I do get a little bit of the people touching my hair because I have very long hair. Hmm. Uh, most uh, basically, the people online, including you, haven't really seen what I look like. But I do have hair that's uh, I say it's the bottom of my rib cage. Oh wow. That's um, longer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, although I think people people less want to like be like, "Ooh, I like your hair," want to touch it, and more like think that they they like, "Oh, it's cool to just yank you by your your large ponytail," because uh. like, because it wouldn't be okay with a girl, but a guy. I mean, you you're okay with being it's. It's not particularly painful, but it is a little disconcerting, like, that people seem to feel okay with just doing that. Yeah. Um, I don't feel like it's as bad as, like, I think I would have much more problem if people, like, wanted to, like, pet my hair than that. So I don't feel like I truly understand the situation type of thing. Yeah. But... I have experienced a little bit of that, like, invade your space and touch your hair type of thing. Yeah. Anyway. 
<laughs> we did it again. We always will do it. It's people should be used to it by now. <laughs> well, I like uh, one of my fans, and hopefully he's been catch keeping up with you as well. Marco has um, commented he always likes it whenever it divulges into like basically it goes from a let's play into like video games behind a um a podcast <laughs> i think i saw that comment yeah yeah so uh anyway uh let's see oh it is my line so i'm the one <laughs> yeah. late again miss amaranth i take a seat with my friends and immediately start digging in Uh, what, what, what happened? I got lectured by my math teacher. My last test was a complete disaster. What? Oh yeah, Ethan, I ran into one of your friends on the way here. Ah, adorable. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Zachary, his name is. <laughs> Why didn't you- colon P. Oh, <laughs> now she's drooling. Goodness gracious, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and Sophie's expression too, it's cute. <laughs> oh, these are great expressions. I love them. Yeah. Why didn't you mention that he's totally gorgeous? You have such pretty friends and I never met him. You holding out on me, boy? <laughs> Sorry, Mel. I gotta protect them. You probably eat them alive. It's come back! <laughs> you can't escape! Vor, vor, vor. I'm just gonna rename myself to Pixel Vor. <laughs> that should have been your Halloween name. Oh, darn. Oh, well. I well, still have a couple days on left. Twitter. <laughs> In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and change it now. And I'm gonna get like 50 followers and I'm gonna regret it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I came here expecting pixelated lore and only found a let's play. But I'll keep watching. <laughs> Maybe I'll get what I want. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> also, hilarious, what you, you didn't get to see is like when I was like, vor, vor, vor. I was actually had my arms over my head, like waving back and forth, cheering that. So. <laughs> I, I just realized now, I'm like, that was really funny and no one saw it, so I have, to, I have to describe it so someone else can be amused. <laughs> Seriously though, what he's, what's he like? He's um, in my art class, he's flashy and loud, huge fashionista, and very Brooklyn. <laughs> Not like normal people, Trendy. He's more like those super nerd sci-fi fans, except with shoes and ribbons and designer purses. Is he gonna be the Tomoyo of this game? <laughs> I am... I am bad with... I don't know a lot of those terms. Is that, like... Tomoyo is a character from Cardcaptor Sakura. She was, um... Sakura's best friend oh. who, like, made an oh, outfit yeah, okay. for her every episode. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, I remember it's been, like, it's been over a decade since I've seen Cardcaptor. Yeah. And I only watched, like, the first season through a totally legitimate dub. Or a totally legitimate sub. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> Ethan, you li literally have no right to be calling anyone else a super nerd. As a small... Actually, as a as a super nerd, I have every right to be able to identify my kind. <laughs> as a small act of revenge, she gobbles down the rest of my dessert. And... Hey! Anyways, he's cool, but completely exhausting. I like him. He's funny and pleasant and always smells nice. So what are you gonna do, Val? About your grades, I mean. Not about the boy that you're probably gonna devour. 
I sigh and feel a little bit of happiness escape. I was hoping that we'd gone past that topic, but nothing slips past Sophie. She's totally strict, not just about her own grades, but mine and Ethan's too. It's exhausting, but I guess it's not a bad thing. One of us has to be the reliable one. Why don't you just ask, uh, so to tutor you? So, that's, that's a normal nickname for Sophie. <laughs> Uh, we did once! It, it didn't end so well. But what, what happened? That is none of your business. Was it sapphic? It was sapphic. <laughs> Sophie suddenly stops. It totally was. What? I got an idea. Come to the student council room before you go home. Oh, you, you gonna ask L Liam? You mean Liam Farrell? I thought you hated his gut, Sophie. I do. I do not hate him. We're just not friends. Our relationship is strictly a professional one. Which is basically your way of saying you can't stand the guy. Regardless of how I feel about him, I can admit he's he'd make a decent tutor. He's a senior, and he's pretty smart. Just sometimes want to hurt him so bad. Wrap my then fingers around make his Make out with him. I don't know. <laughs> I have confused feelings. He's not pretty smart. The guy's incredible. He he's a genius. That I already know. Everyone knows. He's a prodigy who's never gotten anything less than perfect in anything. Oh, I'm not this character. <laughs> He's got the top sc There's always gonna be one. In any anime-ish uh, game, there's gonna be one. Uh, He's got the I top hate... scores in the entire state, and apparently, he's also super wealthy. His whole family is all doctors and politicians and lawyers uh, and stuff. Uh, no, I hate <laughs> this character. No! Now I know why Sophie hates him, and I hate him too! <laughs> You're kindred with Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he also used to be a really competitive athlete too. Apparently he quit because it was too boring for him or something. <laughs> no! <laughs> and on top of all that, he's gorgeous! <laughs> He may be incredible, uh, but he's also completely unfriendly. He has uh, tons of fans, but despite that, as far as I know, he's never dated and he only has one friend. He has a friend? <laughs> oh, what makes you think he'd help? Hopefully he realizes he owes me since I've been doing his share of student council work? Ethan and I stare at her doubtfully. We'll figure something out. What could have possibly happened that would make this option more appealing? <laughs> the student <laughs> This option more appealing than than trying to work out whatever issue happened the last time <laughs> Sophie tried to tutor her? <laughs> yeah. That must have gone real fucking wrong. <laughs> It had to be sapphic and then uncomfortable, like, I don't know if I'm a less. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong after all. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I didn't know it did that. <laughs> I don't oh, even gosh. know what that's. A, I don't know I was just what that was referred to. Yes, yeah, the only thing I can think it can refer to is something that they probably don't have. <laughs> The student council room is empty. I must be a bit early. The only one here is Liam, who's sleeping at his desk. I quietly take a seat away from him so that I don't disturb him. I try to pass the time by doodling, but somehow I end up finding myself staring at the guy sleeping beside me. Not creepy. <laughs> I'm completely enchanted. When he's like this, he doesn't seem scary at all. He really is beautiful. 
I can see why he has so many fans. Anyone would fall over themselves to please him. Well, maybe not Sophie. Ah, no! I see the says, he would follow her and please him, I'm like, oh no, it's the re-embodiment uh, of Gujim. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's a Cupid. No. <laughs> I, <laughs> this is where he went to after. <laughs> after <laughs> <laughs> Am I interrupting something? Yeah, my creepy staring, go away. I jump and scramble away. It's not what it looks like. Oh, it's just you. Oh. This guy looks interesting. Yeah. I I like. Make me uh. star. <laughs> Except I only just noticed now. Like I'm sure his eyes are closed, but like there's this. Yeah, it's slightly a red, red line in the middle that <laughs> it kind of looks like it's supposed to be his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, it still looks good, but I don't think that's what the intention was. <laughs> May Gusta. Uh, <laughs> Beautiful. Man, really good at that mispronouncing things. Uh, oh, oh gosh. Now all I hear is that I see he's got the black hair and. Oh, no, I can't. I'm, I'm too white to do the voice that's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Which is all the worse, because definitely, like, I, I could maybe do it if I could pretend like you wouldn't hear it, but obviously you're going to hear it, because you're hearing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just try it. <laughs> um... It might not be so bad. It might come out as French like most of my accents. Uh. Alt. Or Italian. <laughs> I guess. His name is Alex Harvey. And for some reason, he's Liam's Pharaoh's only friend. Lord knows why. The two of them are like water and oil. Unlike Liam, Alex is no genius. He's retaking junior English. We're not really friends, but he sits right next to me in class. He's not a bad person at all. He's athletic, good looking, and he's popular simply because people genuinely like him. I feel a little relieved. Even if, excuse me, if we're not really friends, Alex wouldn't talk about me behind my back or start rumors. <clears throat> that was some actual lines. Oh wow, those eyes. <laughs> you getting They are not red them? eyes. Ah, oh, goodness! Just I, I, I have our our path pick. If there's such, <laughs> <laughs> if there's no sapphic options, <laughs> oh man, this isn't any better because like I literally like I never hear like genuine Hispanic voices because of where I am. So... ¿Quieres que yo hablo en español? Yo puedo decir la línea cel en español. I said, I, do you want me to talk in Spanish? I can say his lines in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Just go through and like, nobody reacts to it and like, it's just... <laughs> he just speaks Spanish, everyone understands him, nothing. <laughs> ¿Por qué siempre estás aquí? ¿Está esperando para Sophie? <laughs> I'm a little surprised he knows her name, or even the fact that we're friends. <laughs> um, no, actually I'm here to see him. I point at Liam, who is still completely knocked out. ¿De verdad? ¿No crees que es un poquito uh, extraño a venir aquí y mirarlo cuando está durmiendo? Uh, uh, no, I... I didn't... <laughs> Relájate, Val. Estoy embramando. <sighs> Actually, my math scores are completely pathetic. Sophie suggested I ask Liam Farrell for help, but... 
<ríe> no hay ningún manera que él va a decir a eso. <ríe> Ouch, you didn't have to be so blunt about it. My, since I'm like saying these rapid, the translations are going to be not the most literal ones. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I believe you're doing the, a, a precise, perfect job. <laughs> Thank you. I know. It's still worth a shot, right? Uh, uh. He... Pero él ni te conoces. Sería muy difícil para agradecerte con él. Um, tenga fe en mí con eso. Él siempre hace eso. Uh, Liam. That wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> Liam finally wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, finalmente te despertaste. Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> Belleza durmiendo. <laughs> <laughs> Never speak to me in Spanish that way again. Um, <laughs> eso es lo que tú no dijiste. Tú no dijiste eso la noche después. Digo, la noche pasado. <laughs> I butchered that. <laughs> I said you didn't say that last night. <laughs> what? I said that's not what you said last night. <laughs> or, that's what I attempted to say, but I tripped over my words. <laughs> wow, it's a completely weird... Like, would normally mean something different, but in this case, Spanish is the language we use at home. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. And I think we will end that episode right here. Thank you guys for joining us. Farewell. There we go. <laughs> wow. Okay, now find the truth and on your <laughs> Oh man, these are all um great. <laughs> You can also put likes to things that you like. Sugar. <laughs> it sounded real Egyptian, I don't... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Bullfinch just sounded really Egyptian, okay? You don't understand these people and their love of semen. <laughs> <laughs>